the truth about the python indentation it's not just a style it's for your python language and it's a law of the python language so consider this simple example if true i'm printing this if condition is true then true and one more a print statement i'll give it's inside true okay now this is two blocks inside the if condition this means consistent okay then if you are writing outside the print this is the right one outside if block okay so when you try to execute this you will get the exact executed see if you get the exact answer this is con consistent block suppose if you write instead of here if you write this python will not understand which which one i am just giving an example so indentation error will get it so python will not understand it belongs to if condition or outside the if condition if it is inside if condition you need to keep four spaces otherwise you will get the indentation if it is outside you have to keep equal to the if condition so one more test i'll give you and this is one simple example and one more for i in range of okay three i'm giving okay now this is within the for loop okay within the for loop i am printing this okay now i am printing this outside the for loop you what you will get let's try to execute this this is outside the block and it is coming only till 2 okay now this is not equal to the for loop so this is not consistent and we are keeping only one block suppose if you try to print one more time so what will execute you will get the two times okay you can see this 0 0 1 1 2 2 2, two times you are getting okay now this is not good and we need to keep only one that is up to so inconsistent when we say i so this is inconsistent because it is not equal to it is not under for loop or and it is not outside for loop okay so it is indentation error so this is the one more test uh, next time when you write indentation isn't optional but it show the pythons uh, which code belongs together okay right or wrong okay this way you can explain it clearly that's all for now